Okay. Hey, Loki. Um, do you want to get on there? Yeah, good bird. Uh, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> Never work with children or animals, I say. Well, g'day. I'm Dr. Phil. This is Loki's Bum. And I'm going to talk about some more foods that um, cockatoos commonly eat mostly to do with the plant species. I had a quick look on Wikipedia, found out that there are 365 species of plant which are endemic to, to Sydney region, which means that we've got pretty much one plant a day for the next year to go through if I could be bothered doing that. But we'll see how we go. I'm more interested in the plants that are actually edible to cockatoos. So without any further ado, let's have a look what we've got today. Have a look at this guy here. Wow. It is Eucalyptus lecoxylon rosier. Basically a common eucalyptus. Now in case you're interested, the reason why they're called eucalyptus in the first place is that they've got one calitrum, which means cover for the flower, I suppose, is what you call it. So if you have a look here, you can just see that little thing, that little gum nutty thing on the end. That is the calyptrum. It's got one of them. That makes it a eucalypt. That's what, that's what puts it into its unique taxa. Now, as per usual, these guys are absolutely beautiful flowers. More importantly, they actually have a lot of nectar in them. Um, Loki hasn't had a lot of experience. This is a decorative version, so let's see what she does with it. Here you go, Loki. You want to see that? This is something that they eat. Generally speaking, if you have a look at a cockatoo, they have a prehensile tongue. They can actually go and lick the nectar out of the flower. But usually with a the eucalypt, they're going to actually just bite up the eucalypt and eat it. And Loki's probably not going to demonstrate that today, but that's okay. Another interesting feature of eucalypts is something which people don't necessarily think about, but it's actually their, their concentration of cyanide. That's right. Going along with the tradition of everything in Australia wants to kill you, yes, the eucalypts do as well. They have heaps and heaps of cyanide in them. I've seen lots of forums in which they, uh, people advise you not to feed apple seeds to your cockatoo because they have a lot of cyanide in them. Well, I've got news for you. If you actually look at some of the papers, some species of eucalypt actually contain 300 times the content of cyanide that you'll find in your average apple seed. So, Watch this space, I'm going to do a little bit more research and I'm going to have a look and see um, exactly what makes apple seeds so dangerous. But I suspect to cockatoos, they're actually quite harmless, despite what your vet's going to tell you. Who's going to test that out? Who knows? Until then, I'm Dr. Phil and this is Loki, who's sort of eating the plant. Have a lovely day!